Welcome to Cisco Secure Firewall Device Upgrade Wizard. I'm Chakshi Peplani, a technical marketing engineer with Cisco Systems. And in this video, I'll be covering a demonstration of upgrading an HA and a cluster using Device Upgrade Wizard. So stay tuned till the end where I'll be covering how you can change the order in case of a cluster upgrade. All right, so there are two ways to do the workflow upgrade. One is by going ahead and selecting the devices and selecting action as upgrade firepower software. And the other one is by going into the device and device upgrade. So since I've already selected the devices, all I have to do is go ahead and select the upgrade to version. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade these devices to 72082. And as you can see over here, this HA pair is currently running 7101. So the first step is um, post selecting the device is to copy the upgrade package. Now be advised the way to upload the package remains the same of going ahead into the gear icon and selecting updates and then putting or uploading the updates from there. On the right side, you will notice that the secondary one is marked as number one and the primary active is marked as two because the upgrade to the active unit always happens at the end in case of an HA pair. So once the upgrade package has been successfully uploaded to both the devices, we'll go ahead and select next and then we'll go ahead and run the readiness check. We'll select continue and uh, the readiness check will happen in the back end. You can click on the tasks icon to check the status over here or just wait on the screen and as soon as the next button lifts up we're good to go to the next step and once the readiness check has successfully completed we can go ahead and select the next button and it's showing some warnings and once you have completely gone through them we'll go ahead and continue with the start upgrade option and select upgrade the upgrade of selected device has started and we can go ahead and select the finish button to complete the wizard. And we can navigate to the tasks option to monitor the current upgrade progress in percentage. All right, so the upgrade has successfully completed to 720 as you can see, and there's a new tab of upgrade which you can select and check the upgrade path which was 7101. 28 to 72082 and the upgrade status shows us completed with a successful upgrade to the ha we will now go ahead and perform an upgrade using the new workflow for a cluster with 7.2 you can have ftds virtual in a cluster and let's go ahead and select them all and select upgrade I'm going to select the patch version to 7201-12 and as you can see none of the units have the upgrade package so we'll copy the upgrade package and select continue. Okay so the copy is successful let's hit the next button and we'll go ahead and run the readiness check. So the compatibility and readiness check has passed so we'll go ahead and select the next button so another benefit of using this workflow is that you can change the upgrade order by selecting this button by default the control unit is always upgraded at the end however i can choose which data unit needs to be upgraded first and second according to my requirements so imagine you've got eight units one of them is a control unit so you can order the seven units in the way you would want them to be upgraded so right now i've got unit which is ending with dot 16 as second to be upgraded so i can move this to be upgraded first and then dot 17 to be upgraded just by dragging over 16 on top of dot 17 you know? so i'll go ahead and save this and as soon as i do that uh, it's just going to take a second and this refreshes and once that happens we can go ahead and select start upgrade and select upgrade again which will proceed with the upgrade process. So the wizard is completed, we'll select the finish and we can monitor the upgrade progress 
by going into the tasks icon. And as you can see, the upgrade has started from the unit ending with dot 16 in the last octet. And the upgrade has successfully completed. And you can see since the 16th unit was the first one to get upgraded, followed by the 17th unit and the 15th unit, the 16th unit has taken over the control. And if we go to the upgrade tab over here, it shows us that the upgrade path taken was 72082 to 7201.12. That concludes this session. I hope this has been informative and I would like to thank you for viewing it.